YouTube, what's happening? It is Saturday, November 16th, and we got to talk about the NBA. There are five games on the slate, but I will tell you, we are in back-to-back -back hell out here because there are a lot of back-to-backs for these teams today. So that makes things a little more complicated than usual. But whatever, we have five games. We're going to go through all the stuff, the props, the schedules, the injuries, the stats, everything we need to to try and find some value. Looking at yesterday real quick, we had a bunch of games. Went about 50-50. Can't complain, can't hate on it, can't celebrate either. So we did that. If you want this whole list sent to you, all you got to do is go to the website, join the HQ, become a Patreon member. It's simple as that. Boom. You get this for every sport. Every sport sends to you right there. If you don't want it, no big deal. Everything in there will also be in the video as usual. I just try to make it easier on you because this is about a half hour long video and I yeah, me a Saturday morning. People got things to do. So I get it. So other than that, we have five games, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and jump into the first game right now. All right. First First game is going to be Milwaukee and Charlotte, four and eight versus four and seven. What a matchup we have. <laughs> Let's look at the odds. Uh, we have Milwaukee three and a half favorites on the road with a 215.5 total. Let's pop over here. We want to look at their teams. We want to look at what they've been up to. We want to look at their injuries, all the stuff that matters. Just a little bit, any information we can gather seems to help, help us out. So Milwaukee's won two in a row now. They That was Toronto and Detroit. But that Detroit wins pretty good. I mean, Detroit's been playing pretty good this year. Um, Thursday, Friday off. Now they're at Charlotte. Let's we'll look any injuries we need to know about. AJ, AJ Green. I'm, I was like, who? <laughs> Went straight to football. Um, probable. You, you've been ruled out Saturday. So no Dame Lillard. Okay, that's big. That's big news. And we can see probably won't play Saturday. Won't play Saturday. Won't play Saturday. Is anyone playing Saturday? Let's look at that up chart. Who, who is actually playing? So Dame is out. Middleton's out. <clears throat> Giannis is day-to-day. Prince, Brooke Lopez, Bobby Porter's is day-to-day. Jeez, everyone's hurt. Um, I mean, if Giannis is playing, which did he say it was probable? Let's go back and look. Uh, he did, uh, probable. So he'll probably, okay, I can, we can feel comfortable probably taking his props. Because he's probably going to do like he did last game and carry the damn team on his back. Because who else is going to score? Prince? Brooke Lopez? Brooke Lopez will probably have like 15 points. That's, but I mean, damn, this is... This ain't that good, let me tell you. All right, Charlotte, let's look at their schedule. What do we got? They lost their last two to Philly and Orlando, and Orlando whooped that ass. So that was Tuesday. Now we're moving on Saturday. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. Mm, okay. Injuries. Let's see who's hurt. None. The first. Now nah, lies. Lies. Williams, Richards, Jeffries, they're all out. No updates on injuries, basically. So, okay. Mm-mm-mm. To the numbers, uh, let's see, ninth on scoring, 21st. So if Giannis plays, which we're probably going to take Giannis props, uh, he should be able to just do whatever the hell he wants because who's going to stop him? Taj Gibson? Again, no, he's not. Taj Gibson couldn't stop anybody, really. He's, no, no, we don't, no. <laughs> just no. 15 versus 3. Charlotte has the third best three-point defense. That's crazy. 25 versus 4. Charlotte's going to struggle to score on the inside. Uh, 17 versus 29. Yeah, first off, first of all, we're taking Milwaukee minus 3 and a half. Yeah, 3 and a half. Because even without Lillard, I mean, that's the numbers still look good. Because the team's still going to play defense. So, and Charlotte's, uh, I mean, they're terrible from 2. They're average from 3. They're terrible assisted turnovers because they... It's 1.3. That's crazy. Uh, blocks and seals, no. Their average pace. They give up a lot of assists. So do they. Milwaukee gives up three pointers. So maybe if we want to look at something on the Charlotte side, maybe like um, Lamelo, Lamelo three pointers. It's at four and a half. I'm seeing it right now. Damn, it's high. But he shoots a lot of them, so uh, it might be a play. We'll look at it. So actually, hell, let's look at one over there. Uh, so we look at the game. 100% Giannis steals blocks. But we want Giannis, but we want... Look at Taj Gibson. Points, rebounds. Look at them go. You know what? That'd be hilarious. 7.5 PRA. 7.5 PR. That's the same damn number. That's hilarious. Uh, Brandon Miller. Points and assists. Uh, Brandon Miller to posterize one person a game, probably. Because he seems to do it every game. He just, just posters. Uh, Lamelo threes. There we go. AJ Green, two and a half. Who the hell is this AJ Green guy? That's... Hmm. Interesting. That's a new one to me. Let's start with Giannis because, damn. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, PRA. That's where we want to start. We want to see what he is. 59 points, 23, 43. I mean, 
I could see him getting like 40 points today, to be honest. I don't know if, it, like, so, like I said, it's Taj Gibson and Grant Williams. That's the starting two guarding him. Like, who's going to stop this man? Like, come on. I don't, I don't want to, hey, I just want, let me get PR. 49 and a half PR is absolutely mental. Um, but damn, it probably sounds good. Points, 35 and a half. There's no Lillard. That's the biggest thing. No Lillard. Ah, I hate it. It's 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 already been priced high, but damn it, it looks good. He should be able to get double digit rebounds. He should be able to get thirty something points, and that puts us right there at fifty already. Oh, all right. Let's keep going. Taj. I I don't trust Taj. To do nothing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, maybe ten years ago, but not right now. <laughs> Lamelo threes. You have hit this. You've hit at least five threes in a game. 64% of the time. Um, it's plus 110, too. We're getting a little plus odds. All right. Ugh. Okay. What about rebounds assists? I, I want to take something with him, but I just don't know what. Nothing. Everything's priced higher because Dame's out. That's the biggest thing is because Dame's not playing. Um, he's even hitting threes. What the hell? He is on fire right now. All right. This is going to be ugly. We're going for it. I think he's dropping 40 and at least getting 10 rebounds. I think. I don't see how if he plays and does what he normally does, he should get 40 points. And then I think he gets easily as 10 rebounds. So that puts us, gives us two chances to hit the 50. Yeah, so I'm doing it. I'm doing this. 49.5 PR. That is ridiculous, but I'm doing it. Sometimes I got it. And I'm taking ball for three. Ball over 4.53 points. Yep. We're doing because Milwaukee has the second worst three point defense. So it just the numbers is all makes sense. That makes sense. This, and yeah, and we see guard. Yeah, it's all it all makes sense. I like those three plays. Let's move on to the next game. All right, moving on. Toronto in Boston, uh, two and eleven versus ten and three. Let's pop over here to the odds. Uh, it is sixteen and a half at home for other Celtics with a two twenty seven and a half to it all. Uh, all right, so let's look at the schedules. What have they been doing? Well, we know what Toronto's been doing. Losing. That's what they've been doing. They have lost six in a row now. Yep, there they go. Now, it, it, it's just all on the road, too. And then they had a home game against Detroit and lost. Now you're playing at Boston. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This not going to be nice. Let's see. You're... I don't care about that. You won't play Friday. That's Friday. Oh, and you're on a back-to-back? -back? Hold up. Are you back to back in as well? You're back to back in as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We know how NBA players feel at back-to-back -back games. Mm, not the best. Let's look at your depth. Who's actually... Uh, now, it's like it's not like they're a bunch of old players or younger players, but... I mean, they have some injuries out here, so... Ugh, okay, Boston. Let's look at your schedule. You played Wednesday, so you have had two days off, which is nice, since you put up 139 against Brooklyn. Uh, let's look at your... Let's do depth first. Drew? What's wrong with Drew? What's wrong with Drew? Knee questionable. You yeah, don't need him. They ain't gonna need him. He'll be all right. You can literally put anyone else there. Uh, t -t -t okay, cool. Let's look at the numbers. Mm, moving on. Let's see, twenty-two versus seventeen is kind of a push. Five versus twenty-two. Well, Boston can score inside. Eleven versus four. Toronto's got good three-point defense. Who knew? Who knew? Shocking, right? I know they're the two and eleven, but hey, good luck shooting three balls, three balls on, which is what Boston does more than anyone in the history of the NBA. They shoot the most. They're shooting like 55 threes a game. It's ridiculous. But I don't know. That's that percent's not looking that good. So, yeah. Um, they have great defense. They're 25th. I, 16 and a half is a ridiculous spread in the NBA. I can't touch that. That's mm, no, this anything can happen in the NBA. Toronto's on a back to back. Yes. Boston's had two days rest. 16 and a half is such a large spread. Let's look at the odds. Um, Mm, my eye twitched. It was so wide. Okay. All right. We got some, we got a hundred for Davion Mitchell rebounds. Yeah. The point guard to get two and a half rebounds. Love that. Uh, we have some good matchups here. Let's see. Four for points and assists. I mean, he does how he loves that corner three. We know. Let's look at Jay, Jalen Brown. Uh, let's look at Tatum. We got to look at all the stars. Where's, where's Mr. I got four fouls in the first half. There he is. Derek White. Uh, Drew's hurt, so we're not going to look at him. And then 
I used to take uh, Grady Dick points. I have stopped doing that. And this dude had a monster game last game. I got a, just a yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, a monster game yesterday. Look at his points rebounds. 43. Look at this monster. 18 and 25. I saw the box score like, damn. So, yeah, we're not taking that, but I'm just, I just want to show it. <laughs> All right, you were points. That's what, yeah, you, you you cooled off on the points. Like You were doing great, and then you just cooled off. Yeah, so you're not, you're you're done. You're done. You're done. Uh, White PRA, what have you been doing good at recently? Well, this game you did not jack because you didn't, you got super foul, a lot of foul trouble. But it's okay. You're going to have a down game. Look, look, at all, look at all the production you have. You do pretty good. You, you know, we're not going to hold that against you. I'm not anyways. Uh, your PRA is 25 and a half against Tudun 2. Let's see. Let's look at Tatum's PRA. Oh, that's his points. His PRA is at 42 and a half. This is now clearly this game has 100% national blowout association potential. Um, easily does. This game could easily be a 40 point spread in the second quarter. And then we're just looking at the backup. So I don't know. Maybe I don't want to go with any of the three stars. Maybe the smart move is to take one of the bench dudes like a Pritchard or a. Let's look at the depth real quick. Let's let's think. Let's let's be so strategic here. Maybe a Pritchard to do just ball out, and we don't worry about the starters because they're not going to play much if it's a blowout. But if there's a, even if it's not a blowout, Pritchard's going to play enough to get his normal number. But if it is a blowout, he's going to play even more. You see what I'm thinking? You see, yeah, you see what I'm thinking. Okay, so we want to look at Pritchard too. So, um, I'm going to leave all the big names alone. For, damn, you do get a lot of rebounds for a point guard. Okay. And even if it's a blowout, Toronto's going to keep playing their players, I believe. I see Boston trying to, like, not take, they try to take the foot, the gas a little bit. Uh, Pritchard, 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 where are you? Where are you? Scroll. We have to go this way. Um, you're not on here. Okay. Wow. You just gave me starters. No Pritchard. Oh, my goodness. There's no odds for him yet. Well, that just ruined my whole thought. Okay. Great. All right. So, with that being said, I don't want to take any of the starters because of the blowout potential. And since it is blowout potential, and I think it's going to be a blowout, I'm just going to go ahead and take Boston 16 and a half. I know it sounds crazy, but we're going to do it. Uh, if Pritchard's props pop up anytime soon, I will jump on it. But until then, um, did we take the AFL Mitchell? I feel even if it's a blowout, this dude's going to play too. He's going to keep on playing. I'll take Mitchell rebounds. I mean, he got six last time. He's snagging them. So, how's his RA though? Let's look at assist. Did he get assist? He does get assists. Eight and a half? Hell, he can get eight and a half assists. I'm going to take, what's his PRA? Okay, he don't score much. He's not a scorer. He is a facilitator and a rebounder. I'm okay with that. So we'll take Boston and we will take Mitchell over 8.5 RA. And then if Pritchard's line comes up, we'll see if we can get something like that. And we'll do that and move on to the next game. All right, game three on the docket. It's going to be Lakers and Nolans. Uh, Lakers should be favored on this one. Yep, six and a half. What a 220.5. Good deal. Schedule time. Let's look. Nolans. Uh, they lost a bunch in a row. Then they beat Denver. But Denver didn't have Jokic. And they beat them last night. So they are on back-to-back -back status. Back-to-back -back with a team that is already injured like crazy. Is not... I was going to say, injured like crazy is not good. Like, you're star, star, pretty good, star, pretty good, are all out and pretty good. So, like, your six best players, well, maybe not Brandon Ingram, but, like, the rest of them are all out. That's crazy. So, they're not even on the list anymore. That's so wild. Okay. Um, yeah, so back-to-back, -back, and Ingram's been hurt, so I don't know if he's even going to play as back-to-back. -back. Um, let's look at the Lakers. Schedule, you you also played yesterday. Lakers on a back-to-back? -back? Oh, no. Oh, no. That ain't good. Dude. Ooh. Now, Le I know LeBron had a, his fourth straight triple-double. At 80, went off for 40. Hey, I took... Uh, what the hell did I take? What was his name? Um, yeah, I took Champagne. Champagne, however you say his name. Uh, I took him with a PR and that hit. <laughs> I left Lakers alone. It still worked out. Good for me. Uh, now, do we think they're, that they're going to do a back-to-back? A -back? Do we think AD plays? Do we think LeBron plays? I mean, if I was a Lakers for real, I wouldn't play LeBron. LeBron's 39. Like, let him rest. He can have a back-to-back -back off. Um, he's been four straight triple doubles. Dude is on fire right now. So, uh, let's look at the depth. Your day-to-day, you're out. Injuries. 
you're out the Friday information. I need today information, which I don't have, sadly. So let's go over here to the stats. So we got to assume they're playing, but I want to assume they're not playing because it's back to back. And older players don't do back to backs in the NBA, it feels like. So 12 versus 20. That is lean LA. 30 versus 26. Come on. That's nothing. Nine versus 28. Okay, the Lakers are going to shoot threes all day. So we, we're going to leave LeBron at 80 props alone. We're going to look at like Austin Reeves and maybe um, who else shoots threes for LA? Maybe uh, Cam Reddish. We'll see who else we got in there because threes are terrible for you. And yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's go over here to the numbers. All right, let's just pop over. We got some hundreds. Ooh, in great matchups. Austin Reed's assist. Austin Reed points assist. Austin Reed points. LeBron Braun has hit 41.5 PRA in five straight. I mean, dude, who are you? Why are you trying so hard? Not fair for the rest of the league. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's keep going. Uh, you're it, you're semi injured. Let's look at Reddish threes. Let's go and pop him up. Just make pop him over the three pointers. You, ugh, ugh, hey, get off my screen, go away. Oop, let's see, Austin Reeves. I kind of want to look at Braun real quick because I just want to look at it and see how is how ridiculous it's been. Look at these numbers. Yeah, twelve assists, sixteen rebounds, fifteen points. Like, dude is on a mic. Like, what the hell? Like crazy. All right, Reeves' assist has been pretty good. Uh, PRA has been right there. If AD and LeBron, if one of them sits, his obviously number is going to go up. But I want to look at his threes. Yeah, there we go. I knew somebody was going to be good at hitting threes. Yeah, I found him. I found him. It's Reeves. And New Orleans is 28th in three-point defense, so let me get that. Thank you. Over 2.5 three-pointers. I like it. Anybody else on the team you want to consider for threes? If not, name AD or LeBron. Uh, I already look at the Cam Reddish. I uh, don't really think so. Yeah, I don't think so. No, maybe. Does, how much does D'Angelo even play anymore? I don't even know. So, yeah, we'll just go with that. I like that. I don't want to. I don't want to really go with. A lot of people are going to go with LeBron. A lot of people are going to go with AD. I can't. Not on back to backs. I don't trust that. Not in the NBA. So, yeah, monster numbers. If you play it, but hey, be smart. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna take Reeves to hit some threes. Because he could hit threes and Nolans is 28th and three point defense. So we're going to go with those. Uh, anything else you want to go with on here? Let's see. Trey Murphy. Uh, Trey Murphy. Javante Green to hit a three. Mm, Lakers got 14th and three point defense. Uh, to do. Let's look at uh, Trey Murphy because uh, I had him for a prop last game he played. Yeah, I had eight on the. Um, what was it? RA? I think it was RA. PRA is tw he has 28 in his PRA. He's only played three games this year, but yeah, dude's balling out. He's picking up, he's picking up a little bit, and it's mainly PR. So I need to go with the PR is PR is at 21 and a half. You know, I mean, it might not be bad. Look, because Lakers give up that's their ninth and rebounds, though, but they give they give up twos, huh? Uh, his PR is here. What's his points? Ugh. Yeah. Now I'll let him. I'll let him sit. We're just gonna take Reeves. I, I this this is a weird game. I don't know if I trust it. So I'm just gonna take Reeves to hit a couple th two, uh, two and a half threes. That's it in this one. Let's move on to the next game. All right. Next up, we got San Antonio and Dallas. Uh, let's look. We know the Spurs are on a back to back too. There is zero reason for back to backs in the NBA. You only have 82 games and you play no name June. Spread that shit out. You can do that easily. Oh no, we want back to backs. Adam Silver is a dumbass sometimes. It doesn't make sense. You're, all your stars are sitting out on back-to-backs. No, we want to keep doing it. Like, and then we want to do a random tournament in the middle of the thing for no reason. Then they're talking about making the all-star game some kind of four-team tournament. Like, what? Shut the hell up. Like, just fire that guy. Get somebody new. There's some, you got to do something. So, all right. Anyways, enough ranting. Uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, coffee kicking in strong this morning. Uh, Dallas 10 and a half with a 228.5. Let's look at the schedule. Dallas, are you in a back-to-back? -back? No, you actually got a day off. I mean, they haven't played a back-to-back -back since November 3rd and 4th. Look at them go. But they'll play back-to-back -to -back today and tomorrow. <laughs> oh, uh, damn. NBA is stupid. So stupid sometimes. All right. Uh, let's see. Luke is questionable. Doubtful. Yeah, cool. Depth chart. If Luke is questionable. 
Mm. Now, if Luca plays today, he might not play tomorrow. And if he doesn't play today, he might he won't play tomorrow. So, yeah. All right. Let's see. You lost to the Lakers. You played. Obviously, now you're playing them. Uh, depth chart. Anybody hurt? No. Looks like they got up. They got. They look fine. Okay. You're out Friday. Cool. Moving the hell on. Let's see. Seven verse thirteen. That leans San Antonio. Three verse ten. San Antonio got some good defense. Uh, 14 verse 9, that's not, for, none of these numbers are, have clear advantages. They're all within 5, which for me is no advantage within 5. So, 24 verse 2, 19 verse 28. Uh, uh, that, okay, both the rebounding lean Spurs, but that's, of course, Wemby's like 9 feet tall. That makes sense. Two of the slower teams in the NBA on the pace. Okay, okay. let's see. Any, ooh, we got some hundos. Oh, hello, Mr. You paid last night. Let's just open you up again. Clay? Open up Clay Thompson for non-shooting props. Okay, let's do it. Harrison Barnes to hit a three? What is this, 2017? Shit, dude's been shooting, maybe. Okay. Okay. You are the starting power forward. I guess it makes sense. Okay. Uh, but it is minus 200. That's a little rich for my blood. I don't go above 200, so I'm going to take that off. Clay. Look at Clay doing things outside of... Damn. All right, Clay. Calm down, Clay. Four and a half rebounds assists. That's it. And you've just been cooking these lines. How many points you been getting? See, your PRA looks bad. It's that RA. That RA looks real good. Okay. We're probably going to take some Clay Thompson rebounds assists. Uh, I took you yesterday. It, yeah, there it is. Yeah, eight and two. He did your job. You're sick. You've been doing great. Um, sadly, I think I'm taking this as said today because you, uh, I don't know, points, rebounds has been decent. Mm. I take both. I don't want to take a side or total. I just don't trust any of that shit right now. I hate back to back betting. So we'll see. Uh, Castle assist. We got to open that up. Uh, we damn sure ain't taking Chris Paul. Do not touch Chris Paul on a back to back. I will tell you right now, he does not want to play on those things. Uh, let's see. That's about it. Anybody else? No. Okay, we got one more look at. It's going to be Castle. Uh, now, let's assume what I just said is true. Chris Paul doesn't play. If he does play, he might not play much. Uh, Castle might become the move because he should play more as a, as a backup point guard. You would think. One would think this. One should think this. And then, of course, he's been just dropping points like crazy, too. Like, damn. Um, who, need, who needs assists when you can go PRA with 18 and a half on this dude? Damn. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to take you off. It sounds crazy. I, I, I think I'm going to do it. Hold me back. Hold me. I'm going to do it. I'm going Castle. Over 18.5 PRA in the anticipation that Chris Paul doesn't play much because it is part two of a back-to-back. -back. Just saying. I'm going to be proactive here in my thinking so that's what we're doing here and clay is not on a back-to-back -back and he is just taking clay for a non-shooting prop feels wrong it feels so wrong but we're gonna do it because no one's thinking like that so we're gonna take that too so it's gonna be thompson over 4.5 ra okay so a couple weird ones i know a couple weird ones but we're gonna rock with it we're going to leave the side of total alone. Let's go on to the next game. All right, next up, we got Utah and Sacramento. Let's look at the last line. You can't see it. Let me make sure you can. Open this up and bang. Um, bop, 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 bop. It is, I'm blind. It's Sacramento 10 and a half with a 228.5. Let's look over at the numbers, the informations. Uh, schedule Utah, you were three and eight. What have you, you won your last game against Dallas on that Thursday where they were the only game of the whole day. Uh, the hell collins look at collins go all right um injuries we'll see if anybody's hurt kessler's out saturday oh no Lori's questionable saturday oh no so uh sacramento inside that would just make sense right if your bigs are out who's gonna play let's look uh philipowski oh my god if you're playing and they still won't start john collins i swear the dude Dude comes in and like scores and does rebounds, but they will not let him start. They always just put him off the bench. Like he's the sixth man. I hate coaching sometimes. It's just ridiculous. Play your best players. Stop doing the stupid tricks. I'm in a rant today mood. Ooh, love it. Let's see. Uh, moving on to Sacramento schedule. Mm, you 
lost your last one in Minnesota in OT, and that was yesterday. Now you, you got an OT game against Minnesota. Now you're hosting Utah back to back, back to back hell. That's where we're in today. Mm, and you have injuries. DeRozan's day to day, and he didn't play. Yeah, he's not playing today either. Yeah, if he didn't play Friday. He ain't playing Saturday. Let me just tell you that right now. Ain't no shots. Mm -mm. So back injuries just don't heal in 24 hours. So anywho, moving the hell on. Uh, 23 versus 7, that's the Kings. 1 versus 23, that's the Kings. 24 versus 26, that's a push. 29 versus 23, that, that leans Utah defense. So Sacramento is the number one two-point scoring. Well, that's probably some bonus, obviously. That just makes sense. Who else would it be? Alex, Alex Len still in the league? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning things. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, QJ Murray's not a power forward, but he's playing power forward. So, whatever. Sabonis is, hell, Sabonis is probably really a power forward because he's kind of undersized to be a center. But, hey, whatever. NBA 2024, what can you do? All right. So, looking at the numbers, we're obviously going to look at Sabonis versus this, clearly. Um, we'll see what looks good. Uh, assists, rebound. Yeah, the whole PRA for Sabonis is probably going to be a good look. The only thing I'm worried about is the blowout potential. So, it is Sacramento by 10.5. So, uh, for Utah, threes maybe. They don't shoot well, but they do give up a lot of threes. Hey, they were 30th. Now they're 26th. They're getting better. Not bad. Uh, that's all you want to do, though. I don't want to take anything else against for Utah. So let's pop over here. 100%. Colin Sexton. Dude has been balling out. John Collins assists. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh, Herder assists. Sabonis. There we go. What's up with Sabonis? Uh, what was it? Fox had well, how many yesterday? Was it like 60? It was ridiculous. How many points did you have? 60, yeah, 60 points, three rebounds. Any assists? <laughs> Did you get any assists? You had seven assists still, too. Yeah, dude was cooking. Look at that number. That is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to. Like, like, damn. <laughs> like, I want to take the bonus. Like, he still hit. Like, did you still hit your, you still hit your PRA yesterday. Even with Fox getting 60 points, you still hit 23, 12, and 4. I, I'm taking this. I'm taking some bonus. I think he's going to cook against. Uh, whoever the hell Utah throws out there. So, uh, Sabonis so over, over, what is it, 38.5? Yeah, it's always about that. I'm okay with that. Uh, Fox, you think, do we think Fox cooks again? Mm, maybe. He might. How many threes did he yesterday? That's another question I want to see. Six? Not bad. His points are at 26. Like, dude's been, damn. Um, do we back to back though? Back to backs are important. Let's see. Colin Sexton. Uh, yeah, I want to see what you've been up to. Give me your whole PR. That is your PRA. Colin Sexton PRA 22 and a half. I kind of like that too. So let's go Sexton over 22.5 PRA. I want part of me saying Leaf Fox alone. Um, how many times have we seen the game? Like the one that comes to mind is last year with Cat, um, uh, Carl Anthony Towns. He had a game like this where he dropped a whole bunch of points, and the next game, nothing because he just did nothing. One hell, his arm might be tired from all the shooting. I don't know, but he just had, he played like shit the next game. I want to see what happens with Fox. So we're gonna leave him alone. We're gonna focus on Sabonis, who has a beautiful matchup. Uh, probably thinking too much into it and Colin Sexton has just been a dog since he was at Alabama so when he was playing three on five so I mean come on yeah so I, I, I will always back call old young bull <laughs> so um we're gonna take him as well I'm not gonna take ten and a half or the total in this one I'm just gonna leave those alone so we got some props we got lots of plays we've only got five games pretty good I think we got a good little line of a place for today so Pretty good. Um, appreciate you watching. Drop a like and subscribe. You can go to the website, become a uh, Patreon member to get the list sent to you. Other than that, we will be back tomorrow for a handful of NBA games. And hopefully, I don't see many. I don't, do I see any? I don't think I see any. Well, Utah. L few back-to-backs, hopefully. So, we'll see you then.